Hi everyone, this video is a two for one. First part, I will show you this great little program you can download for free and run on your TI-84CE and older model TI-84 Plus. And second part, I'll guide you through the process of simplifying radicals. So here it is. You can find the link to download this in the description or go to www.andyborn.com slash math. Here are two examples that demonstrate how it handles numbers. Try the square root of 24. 2 radical 6. How about negative 81? 9i where the i is imaginary. Keep pressing the enter key to put in a new number. Now let's see how to do this manually. The way to do it is to break it down into two easy steps. Prime factorization and what I like to call get out of jail. Let's start with 12. Start with factoring 12. I like to use a factor tree where we start with 12 at the top and divide until you get to numbers that won't divide anymore. It sort of looks like a tree. These are primes and you can just group them all together and bingo you've factored a number. Now let's put all these under the radical symbol and here is step two get out of jail. Now stay with me this is a silly way to remember how it works but hey it works. Pretend they're all in jail. The only way to escape is to have an identical buddy. If they do they can leave in pairs. If there's someone in jail with no identical buddy then too bad they stay in jail like sad little three. Once a pair leaves jail you just keep one of the twos on the outside. They combine forces in the outside world. Whatever, it's dumb. M make up your own little story. That's the best I got. Let's tackle a tougher one. How about 180? We can factor tree this number also and see that we've got more than one pair. All those factors all go into jail and we look for pairs. The twos get out and the threes get out also. The five stays behind. Now remember, when the two and three are out, they combine forces and just a single two and a single three hang out. That's cool. And since numbers on the outside help each other and combine forces outside of the radical, the two and the three help each other and we multiply them and boom, we get a six. So the final simplification is 6, radical 5. Two final thoughts. If any number inside the radical happens to be a prime, like 7 or 11 or 47, they just can't be factored. And you say, that's great, and just leave it be. If it's prime, there's nothing to simplify. Also, if your number is negative, then all you need to do is add a cute little i on the outside of your radical symbol, out in front so it gets noticed. Practice writing it with a little flair. It's a nice touch. Thanks for watching. If this was helpful to you, then let me know in a comment. If you've got an idea for making this better, hey, I'd like to know.